Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Finally, I'm able to build my own AI voice assistant system on Raspberry Pi. Check this out. Gideon How can I help you? What is today's weather? Which city? Basel Currently in Basel, temperature is 22 degrees Celsius, humidity is 44% and sky is sunny. Gideon How can I help you? What is the current time? Right now it is 8.16 p.m. Gideon How can I help you? What is today's date? Today it is August 23rd, 2020. Gideon How can I help you? Search Tell me what to search. What is Raspberry Pi? The Raspberry Pi is a single board computer developed by the British Raspberry Pi Foundation. The computer contains a one-chip system from Broadcom with an ARM CPU. The board is shaped like a credit card. Wikipedia. So, as you can see, it is working quite well. In the previous video, I implemented the voice assistant solution on Windows machine. Here, I use a Raspberry Pi along with a rest speaker 2 mic Pi hat, an external speaker, and slightly different programming approach to build the always-on AI voice assistant solution. I used Res Speaker 2 Mic Pi Hat which contains two microphones, onboard RGB LED, push buttons, and other interfaces. In my solution, I use the microphones and the RGB LED for the voice detection. Also in this solution, I introduce the wake word detection mechanisms like Google or Alexa along with four basic actions like weather report, date time, search operation, and server reboot. So let's get started. Let's check the algorithm of voice assistant program. The program will run in infinite loop. After the loop starts, I used Python Pi Audio library to stream data from microphone and generate audio file in WAV format for every three seconds. Next. I'm creating thread which process the audio file and extract text from it. I'm using speech recognition library for speech to text conversion. After the conversion, this thread will store the text in a global variable. After that, I'm checking the global variable for the wake word. I use the wake word as Gideon in this project. If the wake word has been detected, program will turn on the LED and play an audio reply. How can I help you? If wake word is not found, it will restart the loop again. After wake word detection is happened, I am again reading the data from microphone for 5 seconds and generating audio file. Next, I am extracting text from the audio file and processing the text with appropriate actions along with audio reply. Later, I am removing all the web files generated by the loop. At the end, I am turning off the LED and restarting the loop again. This loop will run continuously and will reply only when the wake word has been detected. Otherwise, it will do nothing. I have uploaded the source code in GitHub. You can download it from the link that I have given in the video description. 
So in this project, I have created a couple of Python files. Let's start with the main.py. In the main.py, first we define some essential parameter for microphone settings. Then here we define a global variable for storing all the text from audio files. Here we have a class defined named voice. So inside that class, we have an init method, which contains an object of pi audio, and we create an input stream for the microphone. We also have a method named process. This method will read data from the microphone and generate audio file in WAV format. We pass the number of seconds here so that we can define that how long this method will read data from the microphone. This method, voice command processor, extract text from audio file. So we pass the file name here and we use the speech recognition library and recognize Google method to get data from that audio. And then we set the global variable recognize text with the data. Then here we are defining the library for the LED and we create an object for the voice class here. And under the main thread, first we initialize the logger for printing logs. And here the main infinite loop starts. So inside that loop, first I'm calling the process method to read data from the microphone for three seconds. And then before I process the audio file, I first check the global variable, whether is there any wake word already there or not. If not, then I'm creating a thread here for processing the audio file and extracting text and set the global variable. Now in the next iteration, if the wake word has been detected, okay then if this if condition will be satisfied and under this if condition what i'm doing here first i'm turning on the led and then i'm play back an audio file with this text how can i help you and then i'm waiting for 0.5 seconds then i'm again calling this process method to read data from the microphone for five seconds for the next command okay so once the command receive with the audio file then i'm processing that audio file and extract the command in text format and then i'm passing the text to the process underscore text method to process and perform actions accordingly after all these actions are done in this section i'm removing all the audio files that are generated by the code and then i'm turning off the led and this loop will continuously run. Now let's check the other files. In the response.py, we have the text processing engine. So the text processing engine process the text that are extracted from the audio file by the main.py. Okay. So once the main.py got the text, it will call this process underscore text method to process that text so for example if the text contains who are you then it will reply with this audio playback that i am an ai voice assistant system similarly if the text contains weather then it gives the weather report if the text contains search then it will ask for what to search and then Again, it will read data from microphone, okay, and generate the new text. The text contains what to search, and then it will perform the search in the Google. Okay, so we also have the operations for the time and date. And then lastly, I have also added the operations for rebooting the server. Actually, this is very essential, you know, whenever we need to reboot the Raspberry Pi, we don't need to use any computer or laptop. Okay. 
Okay, we can simply ask the voice assistant to reboot the system. So it will reboot the Raspberry Pi. Now let's check the action.py. So in the action.py, I have defined all the operations such as the weather report. So it will get the weather details for a particular city from weather.com website. So I have also performed the Google search and Wikipedia search. Then I have defined the method for getting the current date and time, okay, based on the time. If it is time, then it will return time. If it is date, then it will return the current date. And this is also from the API. It's not a system date and time. Then I have defined the method for rebooting the server. I have defined one setup.sh file. So we need to run the setup.sh file during the installation of this voice assistant project into Raspberry Pi. So inside this sh file, I have defined all the library files that I have used in this project along with the installation of the sound card for a rest speaker to my pie hat. I have also added this launcher.sh file which contains the calling process of the main.py. This launcher.sh file then I will add into the crontab.e so that this will automatically run this program after the startup of Raspberry Pi. I have added all the steps into the readme file for setting up this voice assistant onto Raspberry Pi. Now let's do a quick setup. First I load the latest Raspbian image to a 32GB microSD card that I am using in my Raspberry Pi. Now I log into the Raspberry Pi and creating a RAM disk. The reason for creating a RAM disk is to store all the temporary audio files and the log files into RAM and avoid the micro SD card. So this way we can increase the longevity of the micro SD card. Here I am creating a RAM disk of 200 MB which is enough for this project. After rebooting the server, I'm installing Git. Now using Git, I'm cloning the code repository from GitHub. Now I'm going inside the voice assistant folder and run the setup.sh. This will install all the necessary package for this project. Once the setup script is finished, we need to check the microphone and the speaker and the sound card associated with it. Now I am adding the microphone and the speaker details into a sound RC file as a default device. Now using the ELSA mixer command, I am adjusting the volume of speaker and the gain of mic. Now using the ELSA CTL command, I am storing the ELSA mixer settings into the asound.stat file so that I can use this file after reboot to reset the ELSA mixer. Now using the check device ID.py script, I am checking the index number of the microphone that I am using here. So 
the microphone index number is 0 for me. I have to use this index number inside the main.py file. Inside the main.py file, the Raspberry index I have to define with the number. And finally, I am adding the launcher.sh file to cron tab for auto run after reboot. So I am adding this particular line into the cron tab file so that the launcher.sh file will be executed automatically after the Raspberry Pi reboot. So now let's reboot the system and test. Gideon. How can I help you? Search. Tell me what to search. Who is Isaac Newton? Sir Isaac Newton, the 25th of December 1642 to the 20th of March 1726 27 was an English mathematician, physicist, astronomer, theologian, and author, described in his own day as natural philosopher, who is widely recognized as one of the most influential scientists of all time and as a key figure. So, as you can see, the voice assistant system is working as expected. In future, I'll be extending this voice assistant system with more unique features. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe my channel and provide your comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you at the next video. Bye.